I'm sure you've been seeing a lot more frogs hopping around your homes or even at work after all this rainfall, and you're probably wondering just why they're starting to surface. Well, News West 9's Hunter Alco Sarah went to the Sibley Nature Center in Midland to get the answer. When it rains, frogs and toads seem to just pop out of nowhere out here in West Texas, despite our area usually having a semi-arid climate. So where do they come from? Well, as Jeff Goldblum said in Jurassic Park, life finds a way. And the frogs and toads out here have a way to beat the heat whenever it's not raining. Uh, you know, a lot of frogs and toads, uh, uh, you know, need a lot of freeze-draining water uh, all the time. But the species that we have out here are specifically adapted toward arid conditions. And so they'll spend a large percentage of their time underground uh, coated in a, in a layer of mucus, which they secrete, and then they go into a, a, a bromation type period, which is very similar to a hibernation, just to wait out t until it rains again. If you're ever wondering why you hear big groups of frogs and toads croaking in the evenings, Nichols says it's because rainy days make them go out and look for mates. This is the, the perfect opportunity for them to come to the surface and, uh, and, uh, 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 do the courtship, the males will sing, and, 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 uh, and uh, they'll go through all their reproductive cycle. But if you have pets that are outside, you should keep an eye on them and make sure they don't mess with any toads, because Nichols says that toads usually have a natural defense that while not much of a risk to humans, it can be more of a risk to pets. Some species of toads, even some of our, our local toads, uh, they have these uh, glands called parotid glands uh, on top of their heads, kind of a back part of their head and uh, like and, and they do produce toxins and so like if your dog decides to uh, you know uh, you know bother one he might froth at the mouth or something like that and get a really bad taste or you know some type of sensation that's unpleasant if you can't tell the difference between them frogs have smooth wet looking skin and toads have bumpy wart like skin if you end up having to handle a frog or toad make sure to thoroughly wash your hands as well in Midland, Hunter Alcacer, News West 9.